the European goldfinch is now a very familiar sight in our gardens. It was captured and kept as a cage bird by the Victorians because of its beautiful colours and pleasant tinkling song. Thankfully, in these more enlightened days, we can get our pleasure from watching them in a more natural environment in our gardens. The goldfinch is probably the most easily recognisable finch to visit our gardens. In this year's 2016 Big Garden Bird Watch, it was the sixth most recorded garden visitor. It has a black head with white cheeks and a bright red face mask, black wings with a broad yellow band on them. Here the male is using them in an aggressive threat display, but it also shows them off in its courtship display to the female. There's been a dramatic increase in the number of goldfinches in our gardens in recent years as more and more people are putting out niger seed and sunflower hearts in their feeders. The goldfinch's long and slender pointed bill is ideal for extracting the seeds from deep in the heads of teasel, thistle and also for picking out the exceptionally small seeds from ragwort. It's a specialist seed eater and an expert at removing the husks from seeds in a matter of seconds. It achieves this with a modified top mandible, which has a groove running down each side. It holds or rotates the seed in the groove with its tongue, while shearing off the outer husk of the seed with the sharp inner edge of the lower mandible. The groove is small at the front of the bill and gets larger towards the rear so it can accommodate a wide range of seed sizes. Just another little wonder of nature. Outside the breeding season they will gather in small flocks appropriately called charms but in the autumn and winter they will gather into larger flocks as they prepare to roost. I've been lucky enough to see and hear them each day as they gather in increasing numbers until there are about 70 to 80 of them and they finally drop down into the evergreen trees and bushes opposite the house to roost for the night. Telling the sex of goldfinches with any certainty is a tricky problem because there can be quite a lot of variation in their markings. There are three main features to look out for that will give a good indication as to whether they are male or female. This particular bird is a good candidate for being a female as the red on the head does not extend past the eye, it has white nasal hair and there is a brown tinge to the wing coverts. With the male, the first and most obvious feature is that the red on the head extends past the eye. The second is that the nasal hairs are dark or even black. And finally, but not too obvious to see, is that the coverts on the wings are completely black. I would say this one is almost certainly a male. Here we have one with extensive red on the head 
and black nasal hair, which says male. Yet on the other hand, it's got a slight brownish tinge to the cover, and some of the feathers have still got a light fringe at the end. This could mean that it's a first winter male. When the young are first hatched, the parents will feed them with a paste of crushed insects and husked seeds, bound together with water and mucus. This is stored in the crop and then regurgitated for the nestlings. As they get older, the young are fed less insects, and by the time they leave the nest, the fledglings are being fed on a paste made from seeds alone. As fledglings and juveniles, they have the basic wing and tail colours, but will not lose the stripy grey head and body markings until they molt in late summer or early autumn and get their full adult plumage. 